I'm in Formula One, double world champion. My dad managed uh, Mika, especially in those years where he was world champion, fighting against Schumacher, and, and so I was always a big fan and uh, very, very excited to watch his races. My first DTM win was in Spa. He came into DTM and he felt uh, comfortable and he has been quick immediately. I was always uh, very happy to get his mind about racing. I stopped racing in 2007. Mika has always been a great driver in Formula 1. He was very successful. He did some good races in DTM too. Did you guess who that is? Right, it's Mika Hakkinen. Four years without racing are enough. Now the Finn grabs the steering wheel again. On November 13th, Mika will be taking part in the finals of the Intercontinental Le Mans Cup in Zhuhai, China. An endurance race lasting six hours. Coming back for racing, I have very exciting uh, emotion inside and also uh, going to do racing category, which is a bit, a bit unknown for me. It, let's say this way, I've never done it before. Of course, I know the category, but I never raced there, so it's, it's quite challenging. Especially also having the two teammates and during a race we have to chase the driver. It's a, so there's a lot of elements which are very exciting inside me. A charismatic blondie combined with an iconic car, the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG GT3. The racing version of the popular double wing door car. Massive, powerful, precious, and of course as swift as an arrow. A 6.2 litre V8 engine, 550 horsepower. The SLS AMG GT3 seems to be a convincing argument for the resignation of the resignation. It's a different than Formula One. It's different than DTM. It's a car which is designed uh, for the long distance races. Uh, which means they have built a car which is very consistent. It's not too difficult to drive. It gives you a good comfort uh, to keep in the lap time consistent. So that's a couple of important points. Fantastic car to drive. Sneaky as always. David Coulthard could write a book about that. Being Mika's teammate for a long time, he can judge the best if Hakkinen can still make it. So just watching here reminds me what a, an attacking driver he is, but yet the flying fin still has it. Very flowing, you know, I've got so much admiration for him. We were teammates for seven years and uh, it was really, really difficult to beat him. Uh, a few occasions I managed it and uh, I was very proud of that, but uh, could you say he was a very fair teammate, uh, humorous as well, but it's, it's nice to see him back behind the wheel. I don't think the racer loses his speed, I just think he loses the need. Craving for speed, that's what makes him come back. In the beginning it's just a thought, but once it's appeared it can't be pushed back. You won't be satisfied until you've had enough. Is one race enough for Mika Hakkinen to be satisfied? I will be doing this race and, and uh, I will get my experience, my feeling. and. And if there is a, a, a great and positive uh, outcome from that race, uh, there's a very high possibility I will be racing next year. Once a racer, always a racer. To be continued.